Hi, my name is Dean Schmidt and welcome to this migration demo showing how to move a VM from OVM 3.4 to OLVM 4.3. This demo is based on a blog by Simon Cotter. First we'll see the VM in my OVM environment, which I want to move to my new uh, OLVM server. So I'm moving from a SIN based hypervisor to a KVM based hypervisor. So before we uh, start out, we need to prepare some simple tasks on the KVM server. So the initial step is to log into the OLVM KVM server, which is the one that's going to do or manage our migration. So we need to install some uh, libraries first on this server. And please just follow the instructions here or go and read the blog. But this is of course to show all the initial steps that needs to be accomplished before uh, this KVM server is ready to become uh, my migration uh, host. The next step we need to do is to prepare the send server. As you will see on the send server, we need to change some uh, small parameters for it to be able to, for us to communicate between the KVM server and the send server while doing the migration. So please just follow the next steps, uh, which will be happening uh, here. So what's actually happening here is that we're just changing the behavior of our send server here. And here uh, the program requires us to change some of the parameters, uh, operation parameters, which will determine the behavior of our daemon at runtime. So this is what's happening. We are enabling the port for listening so it can be communicated between the uh, KVM server and the send server. So that's what's happening at this point. And move on to the next. So as this is finishing now, we will just restart the service on the send server. And then we'll move on to the KVM server where we need to do some tasks that are set up above. First, we need to run on the KVM server is to verify that we can get a list of the VM running there. So we will log in and we say yes and then password. And then we should hopefully get a list and here you will see that domain zero is running. Yes. So next step is that we get the OL KVM VDMS daemons self authenticating to the OVM server. So we copying the keys doing a sudo, copying the key, and moving the uh, key over to the uh, send server, and then we'll verify that everything works without having to enter a password. And we'll see here, and there, yes, and we are there. We now need to copy the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager certificate onto the KVM server, which is what we're doing here with SCP, uh, IP address of our OLVM manager and then where it needs to go and this is what's happening here. The next step we need is to create a password file for the KVM host so to access the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager 3 API which is what we're doing here. Since I'm using NFS on my OVM environment I will just jump directly to the step setting up the path between my OVM repository and the KVM server. So basically that means that I'm making sure that my KVM server can read my image files on my repository on OVM. So what's happening here is that I'm mounting my NFS share from my OVM repository to my KVM server. In the meanwhile, I've started my VM on the OVM server. So I need this for the next step where I will be using the same command as I used previously, where I list all my VMs on the OVM server. As you can see here, I've listed my running VMs on my OVM send host. Next step will be to get the configuration of the VM copied into an XML file, so I can use that in my migration process. This XML file will be used to use the V2V process to import the virtual machine in to Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager and the Oracle Linux KVM server. So the next step will be the physical migration. But I've done this little step here, which is not documented. It's just to write a file into the Oracle Linux server itself before I uh, 
stop it and move it out of the system. So it's important to emphasize you need to stop the VM before you start the migration. So this is the command vert v2v libvert the XML file which is uh, doing the process and now we will see the process happening and it will just take a uh, few minutes this is a 12 gig uh, file being moved and I speeded up the process so we don't need to wait so long so some uh, more notes on it uh, this is uh, of course how to demonstrate how to move a single VM but you could do it on any any of your VMs Windows Linux whatever and uh, as you will see in a few moments uh, the VM will pop up in the uh, Oracle Linux virtualization manager so as you can see it finished and if we zoom in here you'll see a long ID coming up which was the ID of the VM we moved and we'll giving we will edit it and giving it some meaningful name and then after that give it some network and we'll start it up and we'll check to see if my, this is the VM we moved in just a moment I will spin it up and we will log into it through the console and you will see just here we'll click on here and you will see that it's booting up and this is the process of moving a VM from Synthase to KVM thank you